Good morning. It's actually afternoon. Good afternoon. And happy daylight savings. Yes, we lost an hour of sleep, but we went to bed early, so we're good. Yeah. We're good, and we're in Animal Kingdom, which we haven't gone into in weeks. So I'm trying, we don't come to Animal Kingdom enough, but I'm trying to make this my Animal Kingdom shirt. Ooh. I think we said that last time, didn't we? Uh, maybe. I know that we, we bought this for the 2016 trip, yeah. and it did not fit Peter, and now it does. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're penguins, we can't fly. <laughs> that show. Tiny Nemo wrecks me. Yeah, it's one of those and things that like I feel like we don't do enough. And then I, we know we love it more yeah. than probably most. It's a time commitment. And then it's a we. Long, it's a 45 minute show. So yeah. You have to get there early. But it's beautiful out. I was nervous it was going to be hot. I think it's still supposed to get to 80. But there's a cool breeze still. So it's like. I want to go swimming later. So maybe I can talk this one to go swimming. I can swim now after the surgery. So we're good. Yeah, you can. So we're, we have 15 minutes for a dinosaur fast pass. But. I've never seen this Cretaceous trail before. Heads and animals you see along the trail have remained virtually unchanged since late Cretaceous. I have a feeling this like I feel like I've seen the other end of this by dinosaur, but I've never seen it this before. Looks like green peppers over here. I love green peppers, and so does Eve. That's why she's our dog. Okay, so the Cretaceous. How do you pronounce it? Crustaceous trail ends with Donald. Oh, Donald covered her eyes. Oh, and here's this. This is a, a much more exciting and welcoming sign than the one we saw, but chop full of information. We got fast pass. Time to go on one of the scariest rides in Disney World. I want some of that water. And that guy's cool. And that pool has never looked more beautiful than today. One more thing. Those locked coordinates. We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. Always, always be prepared for two rider if you're here with two people. We just skip all of that. We come down those stairs, and the cast is like, it's a party of two, which is looking like right at the front, and I just go, woo, with my hand up like this. She's like, okay, and she let us through. We gotta get out now. We're getting out. <laughs> 
Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds. the most intense ride we've ever been on, I think. Oh my god. My heart rate. <laughs> Look at all these ears. Simba. Are those giraffes sparkly? Giraffe sparkly and the shoe is sparkly. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're stopping and having a little snack that we brought by Flame Tree Barbecue. And we got a new fuel rod so Sarah could charge her battery. But look at this view. I don't think I've ever like eaten by the water. And I definitely have not seen this since, if I have eaten down here, I have not eaten down here since they added the seating for Rivers of Light. But this is, look at the water and the sky and the, the duck right there. This is gorgeous. stretched shot because I'm super zoomed in because we're at Flame Tree Barbecue, but I had to show you this. Those are people to the right of the screen and to the left of the screen taking naps in the shade of that wall in the seating for Rivers of Light. Okay, so Sarah said she's seen this, but I wanted to show you this because this is like the, a beautiful view and I'm curious to know if we could stand here or sit down there where we just were for Rivers of Light. It would just be a cool angle, I think. And there's some of the big projections right there, or maybe those are water screens, I'm not sure. But, I want to tell you briefly how, how clever we were. Sarah actually remembered, we've been bad about lately, like remembering to pack snacks or lunches on the weekends. But we packed a little thing of popcorn, made a little turkey, two little turkey sandwiches, and we're here sitting here and Sarah's like, I want to sit at Flame Tree Barbecue right on the water. So we did, she's like, wait a minute. They got the best barbecue sauce. So she ran over and snagged two cups of barbecue sauce. We put a little barbecue sauce on our turkey sandwiches. It was basically like we were eating at Flame Tree Barbecue, but with our goods from home. And now we don't have a fast pass until 8 o'clock, and it's only like 2.30. So we're gonna uh, see about going on Kilimanjaro Safaris or going on the Rapids because it's a little warm but not too bad. And that is only a 15 minute wait, but Safari is an hour. And I found her, she ran away. I didn't hear you say you were coming up to get the oh, water. Really? So I just like was like getting the backpack ready and I looked around you were gone and I was like, I hope she's going to get the water. And here are your sunglasses. I was wearing them on my shirt. All right, so Callie, Callie's only a 15 minute wait, which probably five to 10 of that will be the walk to the ride. Because I feel like the entrance is super far from the actual onboard. Right. But we get to show you what we can do with our backpack that we've only shown you the last time we were on this. Because we, it hasn't been raining yet because I think that's how Florida works in the winter. Like it doesn't I know, rain too like much. I know, this is like that we've never lived here before. Yeah. And we didn't realize it was going to be so dry. Yeah, like it's super dry. Barely, it's, so it, it's it might so rain humid, today. Like the 3 o'clock rain hasn't happened in weeks. Yeah, it will be back. Yeah, I we're think not, today or tomorrow. Though. Yeah, I think it's coming back like this week. Oh, here's our standby. Definitely the longest we've waited, but now we can show you what our backpack does to keep everything dry. So right here, I don't know what AW means, but it's AW cover. I think it's all weather. There's this cool pouch, and this pouch has like a little safety safety basket. Because Callie took out the like protective center compartment. Yeah, I don't know why. You just little put stuff in there to keep it from like getting soaked. I wonder if people, st their stuff still like got a little bit wet in it and like people well, complain. Yeah. Really. yeah. So, so it's like they don't want to claim that they can. Now yeah. it's, it's inside out, my apologies. But yeah. it looks It'll like do it's the, the job done. Do the job.
Uh, Sarah? Sarah got the most soaked ever. Oh. I'm soaked! <laughs> okay, let's see if we can show the world how okay. soaked you got. So that's like the real color. Oh, uh, okay. And that's how I'm soaked. I You're guess. basically dripping. Yeah. You're. Oh my god. Alrighty, so Welcome we're gonna get this pickle. I, I can be number one. Peter's FaceTiming Dom and Victoria. Here they are. <laughs> and they posted their vlog, so go to their channel and watch their point of view of our day with them. And because Magino. of it, we're getting a pickle. Yay! Yep. And they're like grilling corn over here. Did you ever see this? Okay, so here's like their safari. And there's the stand. We're in a garbage can. Just a Sunday in Africa. We've never even been in Africa, have you? Wait a minute. We were just walking around and this party started. What is it? But we're gonna go home and see if our pool was closed yesterday and we have actually never swam in our pool so we're gonna go home and see if the pool's open today maybe lay out a little bit jump in the pool a little bit because it's finally getting hot again um, but for some strange reason today this park Disney's Animal Kingdom Resort or Animal Kingdom is open until 10 o'clock that's later than both Hollywood Studios closing at 8 o'clock today and Epcot closing at 9 o'clock today I don't know if I've ever seen that happen before. No. Um, and then Magic Kingdom for a Sunday, you can tell it's starting creeping up to get busy again because Magic Kingdom on a Sunday is open until 11. And even though it's the end of the weekend, I'm working from home tomorrow because we have a doctor's appointment, a follow-up from her surgery. So it's like I do work, but it's, I don't have to go to the office. I just like, get up and make a pot of coffee and start working from home, which I actually have a lot of work to do, but it's still from home. Okay. We just checked our peel boxes. We're actually going to see The Greatest Showman for probably the last time in the movie theaters, but it's our fourth time by the one that's not too far from Universal because it's the only one that's showing us late. But we decided to stop at a peel box and we got a package and I haven't even, even I don't even have it open, but we peeked and I see Green River. So I'm freaking out because today of all days is the day like you're supposed to drink it. Yeah, so even though it's not St. Patrick's Day today, you can see my um, on the south side. <sighs> Two bottles. Oh my gosh, on the south side of Chicago, where we're from, this it's the parade today. Oh my god. Thank you, Brandon, Megan, and William. You guys are the best. <laughs> we literally, like, our knees buckle. I almost want to, like, bust open right now. Should we? Yeah. Is there a description of what it is to anyone who hasn't had it? Caffeine free since 1919. Rich in history, as Prohibition was established in 1919, Green River Soda was introduced to the world. The lime-based soda, with its distinctive vivid green color, was an immediate hit. Today we celebrate Green River's history. Chicago's Chicago Original. 
like at the parade, like people are handing it out on the streets. <gasps> we could drink this one and then maybe we could have the other one in the fridge. <sighs> oh, it's heavy. And we're filming this portion off the phone because I grabbed our G7X after we went swimming at, at our apartment. Um, but I forgot to grab the memory card. I forgot why we took the memory card out. So that's why this is on the phone. Let's go get our tickets. Thank you again, Brandon, Megan, and William. I'm so happy. We're gonna see if we can do this um, without Eve barking. We wanted to share with you a little update of what we, we hinted at in yesterday's vlog. We'll give more details today, but still not all the details. Yes. It has to do with the Plain Crazy Button Club and the Brookhart Project. Yes. So, I'm actually a little bit nervous <laughs> talking about it. Um, We've decided that we are no longer going to do our subscription service through the Playing Crazy Button Club. Um, I don't know how many of our viewers are subscribers or how many subscribers are viewers, so we are gonna have to um, send out emails and more information to our actual members. Um, so don't fear, like seeing this, don't panic. Right? Which the email yeah. will have gone out before you were watching this live. Right. So if you are a subscriber and you're like, why didn't I get an email? Check your email yeah, or your spam. You'll know more about it. You should have gotten more details. But what it essentially is, is like we started this button shop because when we were in Chicago, it was a way for us to get a Disney fix. It was a way for Sarah to have a creative outlet. All my own, on my mm -hmm. own terms. Um, and now I get that every day, you know, through the Brookhart Project, through living freelance down jobs. here. Um, freelance jobs, et cetera. So, you know, we've been able, it's been great doing it down here. You know, we have the parks as our backdrop for all of our marketing photos and it's great to have inspiration. I know a lot of our themes wouldn't have come about had we not been here to, to get to know and love them. But just right now, we feel as though the time that we spend on the Playing Crazy Button Club can be, you know, that energy can be put into the Burkhardt Project so that we're giving our audience content in one central location um, to the best of our abilities instead of kind of splitting our um, time 50-50. So it's been kind of like, we, we the way I've been explaining it, it's more of like, so the PlainCrazyButtonClub.com website will be down when you're watching this video and we're still going to sell individual buttons at least until inventory is gone and then we're going to continue selling like our most popular ones on a new website. And that new website is what we're most excited about because how Sarah said everything's gonna be centered, we've been calling it like a synergy. So kind of like we show and share with you all, and this is what we love to do and we wouldn't if we weren't comfortable, we share with you, what do you say, like 90% of our lives? Yeah. So there is like 10% like our jobs I mean, and it's personal only like things going on. like 15 minutes a day, but. But like overall, it's not like, right. I, we don't hide anything with, from you except for a few key things like where I work and some other things. Right, but for that's safety and that's. For that and just like, that's not, to share for not necessarily right. for a fun little right. blog. Um, but for the most part, we are very genuine and open with you all. But it's been kind of like there's this little portion of our life that we, we don't, don't share. Then there's the vlog and our 90% of our life of going to the parks, having fun, interacting with you all, which has been amazing. And this little mm -hmm. community has been incredible. And even you guys watching us when we're not in the parks and mm -hmm. just caring about us as humans. Yeah. And then there's been the Playing Crazy Button Club. So I, I feel like. Can you grab your phone, please? Mm -hmm. I just need to look at something. Um, we felt like it was almost like we were segmenting our lives, and this is going to bring a change in product and a change in how we interact with all of you in our new website. And we're hoping that comes out. We're hoping we can launch that in a couple weeks. Yeah. But there's like, no deadline. We don't right, know yet I at think all. Before April. Yeah, I would love to do it before April. I think so. Um, we've been planning it out a lot of today, a lot of yesterday, and in talks. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of a lot of what the YouTube is and a lot of what Sarah's design is, it's, it's going to have like a home. Right. Like it's going to be for us and for you all to interact and have a great thing along with some fun, cool stuff. Right. So I would say that there are three key new things. So the, the website will have, you know, links to our videos, information about us and um, the buttons, but we are going to be coming out with some merchandise. Um, I think right now we're going to start with three t-shirt designs and maybe a hat design, um, but that's kind of all we want to say right now. We want to make sure that everything goes well with who we're going to have um, print the t-shirts and all of that. So we will have new merchandise, like we said, the um, 
the most popular buttons as well will continue to be up for sale. We have so much inventory. We're going to do a lot of giveaways, a lot of, um, you know, information about that. Then next, we are going to really start to focus on our community. So we feel as though we love interacting with you guys so much. We love meeting up with you in the parks and meeting you in person. And the messages we've received, sharing our story. Even tonight, we got that package of the Green, of the Green Rivers, River, and they're like, like just, that is special to us because right now is a hard time because it's not just like Christmas or Halloween. That's like world around the world. There's holidays we can go to Epcot and see Santa Claus. Like right now. South, uh, today was a Southside Irish Parade in Chicago, and that's like very special to Chicago. Yeah. So today was kind of like a more homesick kind of day. Yeah. And like we didn't have corned right. beef cabbage so for pictures, dinner. So many pictures of, that we were, you know, not included in because we're here. But that package really helped. Right. Um, so we really want to focus on our Facebook page. We hope that you guys can talk to each other. We're obviously all on the same page for our love of Disney, just for, you know, being invested in other people's lives, I feel like um, it could be great for some of you even to connect. Um, we already have a Facebook page, so please, if you haven't already, go to that and like it. We, we're trying to post more. We want to interact more there because we want the conversation to continue mm -hmm. outside of just us posting a video and, and then like, waiting for great, other people to And there's to been watch great it. comments and great communication outside of it through people we've met in the parks and started friendships. Um, but I, I, I asked Sarah for the phone because I want to look this up. That we just have just over 2,200 subscribers, which is incredible. We have just under 300,000 views, and we've posted 230 daily vlogs. And so, like the last, like we didn't care if any of those were one or zero. But what has blown us away is like how open you guys have been with us, and how great that community has become. Right. And so, like this website will be will be able to focus on that. Um, and then the third thing is service. So we really, um, we want us to use this platform. Obviously, we ha we don't have the largest audience out there, but um, we want our website to be a place where you know we can share information. Like when the hurricanes were happening, we could have posted how you can help. Um, just a, a way to make advice about moving or following right, like dreams. Right. Just so that it's a it's more um, it's more than the videos. It's more than entertainment. Um, we truly we want to use this for good and to just make it so much more purposeful. Mm -hmm. So that's something that I'll continue to develop. Yeah. And change throughout time. Like right now, a big thing for us is the endometriosis. And I know it's Endometriosis Awareness Month, but we could share our story. We can have people who are willing to share their stories on our website. Right. We can share our doctor's YouTube videos on our website. Right. Um, so it'll just be changing. But it's right. it's if we could help one person, I know we have from the messages we've gotten. That and means so many the world. of you have helped us. Yeah, in the same immensely. Way. Um, so those two kind of things work together. Um, so, so yeah, it's it's, it's a little a sad. Deal. It's a little sad because playing Crazy Bun Club's ending in and we how we do it. It's and abrupt, and people think that you know you sign up for a year subscription, you think you're going to get the full year, and we are, we are changing that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why if you're a member, you will get more information about everything. Um, but yeah, that's our cool. big thing that's been. We kind of had this realization. We, you guys know, we're all about you know living fully and yeah. we felt as though we were starting to um to lose that aspect of the playing crazy button club and we just feel like we could you know push ourselves to um make that time more we, valuable we give everything 110 percent, and since we weren't we saw ourselves not doing that fully there and so we wanted to be able to take what's good with here and what's good with that and mold it into this one awesome new adventure. And so it's, it's super, it's it's way more exciting than it is sad that the Plank Crazy Bunk is ending because of what we know that we're gonna be able to do with this new website and new way of communicating with everybody. Right. So when we know the website's URL, we will let you know um, as different things come up about and we're developing things, we'll let you know we have a photo shoot with our friend Jordan, um, all set for further marketing of it and whatnot so I gotta change I'm going on a run <laughs> He's going on and a the run. battery's about to die yes but thank you I hope that you're understanding um, I know it you guys be. will be yeah. um, and then also if you have any questions that is, well, let us know down below if you're pumped yeah. for the new Brookhart Brook project website yeah it'll be it'll be fun yeah. all right everybody Peter's back from his run in the shower we're gonna go to bed it is 1.25 in the morning. Some people get super messed up by daylight savings time, but we just always stick to 
our wacky late night routine. So we will see you tomorrow and it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.